and my name's Abby. Um, I, uh, I'm going to demo to you some of the support that we've recently added for L-Tree operators in uh, specifically for Postgres. Uh, so uh, L-Tree is an extension, uh, is a Postgres extension that allows kind of querying and um, retrieval based on label paths that represent high, uh, some kind of hierarchical data structure. Um, so the hierarchical data structure example that we're going to be working with uh, this demo is just here. Um, and I've also included a link to the Postgres docs um, in case you wanted to follow along in your own time. Um, I'm going to show a quick before and after um, based on kind of what we currently have, what we had previously in 1.3 and then also what, we'll, um, what we've just introduced in 2.0. Uh, so without further ado, um, as I mentioned, L-Tree is, is a Postgres extension. So if you try and kind of add or query any L-Tree data types um, without enabling the extension, then you're going to get um, an error. So I'm just giving you an illustration of how I would set this table up. Um, and again, we're using the same data that we have in Postgres um, L-Tree docs themselves. So if you wanted to follow along uh, with the same kind of data set, you're welcome to do that. Um, I'm currently on um, version 1.3. So this is this is me showing you the before uh, query uh, kind of behavior. Um, and if I wanted to, for example, uh, retrieve the descendant of a particular path, so I wanted to get all children of um, the path that was at the, the represents represents the science node. Um, I'd probably try a query like this. Uh, so my uh, test table has paths which all have kind of L tree paths. Um, and I want to get uh, all of the descendants of science. You can probably tell by the kind of squiggly, red squiggly underlines that that's not going to work. <laughs> um, so you get uh, you get an obvious error. So this is the kind of before case. Um, and you might want to try and like hack around it a little bit and think, oh, well, I can just, I can implement that myself. That's, that's trivial, right? Um, and so you might try something like uh, this, which is a really contrived expression, uh, which we're, we're basically doing string comparisons on the, on the same path. Uh, data type to try and get something close to the uh, search functionality that you're um, that you might get with L tree uh, proper querying operators proper sort of operators um, as you can imagine that falls down pretty quickly so we have a kind of fake descendant um, bug which is uh, the the query that I showed before which was trying to get all the descendants of the science node um, looks like it works because uh, everything after science is uh, there are no nodes that um, start with the letter um, after S. So that fails uh, hilariously if you try it with basically anything else. So my point here is this is a contrived example that shows you that um, trying to work around the lack of um, L tree operators in version 1.3 is a start of a bad idea. It's very manual, it's very error prone, um, and you're just not making use of the, uh, of the kind of L tree search functionality. Uh, the last thing I mentioned on there is that is if you have a um, error in your path, um, and actually we see the same error message if you're trying to query on um, any any other kind of path type or string um, strings or regexes, um, you'll see an error message like this if you pass an invalid path. Um, so you can kind of make you can kind of roughly make sense of the uh, error message based on the generated SQL, um, but it's not very friendly. Um, and I'm showing you this for a reason because we've improved that in 2.0. So I'm switching tabs now. Um, the only difference that you can notice so far is that I've called the project L tree demo afterwards after. Uh, so I really hope this works. <laughs> uh, I've got the same tables here. So I've got my test table, which has my uh, hierarchical data types. And you can see on the left hand side immediately that I have access to more operators. So in the version before, I had access to all of the kind of standard string comparison operators like equals greater than etc. Um, but here I have things like ancestor, descendant and matches, etc, which are specific to um, L3 data types. So uh, yeah, here we can see we've uh, successfully queried for all descendants of uh, the collections node. Uh, we also can query for um, all ancestors. Uh, we can query on kind of arbitrary, like basically any any node in the structure. Um, you kind of uh, you get the you get the picture there. Um, I mentioned before that you get a pretty horrible error message if you um, pass an invalid label path. So if, for example, I 
end this label path with a uh, with a full stop, which it's not supposed to have. I saw a horrible error message in v2.0. You get much friendlier um, error messages that tell you exactly the format that um, it's expecting for a, a L tree path. Um, as well as kind of simple queries, I can such as like um, uh, ancestor or descendant. I can also do uh, kind of string matches. So I can query for things like any node that has the word uh, astronomy in it. And so, I'm, I'm, so here I'm going down two branches. I'm going down the science branch and the collections branch. And uh, equally, we can we can match on kind of full text query. So if I wanted to do kind of a little bit more of a lenient search, which matched kind of um, a full text query, anything that started with Astro, um, I'd see the similar result to before, but then inclusive of um, labels that started with Astro, like astrophysics or uh, astronomy, things like that. And the last thing I'll show is with when you can kind of do a full text text matching you can kind of do arbitrarily kind of complex um, queries so uh, this one I think we're query, we're doing the same query for astro nodes and then excluding um, uh, anything that's a descendant of pictures so we can kind of uh, we can kind of compose arbitrarily complex uh, queries here and you have much more powerful kind of search search and querying um, functionality with with Eldry uh, the last thing I'll say is that we uh, can, all of these operators that I've just shown uh, matches full text, except, except matches full text, because that doesn't exist. Um, all of the operators that I've just shown, such as ancestor, descendant, uh, and matches have uh, the same, have the any um, version. Didn't work. Just looking for a label path. There we go. Okay, so if I were to provide it with a list of paths, um, you kind of get the impression that uh, I can combine any different things there. So I think that was uh, the majority of things that I wanted to show you. To summarize, these are the operators that we've added support for. So the ones that I've just demoed are listed here, kind of. Um, ancestor matches and um, matches any. Uh, we're not currently supporting things like returning the first matching L tree in an array of L trees um, or any kind of mutation, uh, any operators that you might want to use for mutations. So like combine these two L trees together or things like that. Um, we have kind of the Hasura docs have added um, some documentation to Hasura's API reference. And uh, I've included some links. If you wanted to ask a question, we'll see the, the link to the full issue um, documentation. And there's also a code flow, a uh, cute little code flow document, if I do say so myself, if it ever loads, um, about how to add your own operators, um, which walks you through the code that we actually have and kind of illustrates exactly where to change code in order to support operators um, on your own. <laughs>